Welcome to another day of Ether Rays. We are taking on Man. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Straightforward. I, I got that one. That one's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, we're going to use the Ike team. Uh, we got a flyer line here with Tina. Uh, really love to see the Tina compositions these days. Uh, well, I mean, as long as I can beat them. <laughs> um, but I do like to see the versatility that they offer. And this is another example of that. Uh, Tina on a flyer line. We're going to see what she has to offer here. I feel like my matches have been got getting a lot shorter um, since I've started Omni-Tanking again, which brings back memories, but also, I don't know, it, it kind of makes it feel a bit anticlimactic in, uh, in the sense that it's pretty much just Ike against everything, uh, and we kind of already know what the outcome is going to be. Um, I don't kind of like, I don't really like it. <laughs> Um, but it is what it is. Um, I feel like maybe there's gonna be like some hero or unit that has hardy bearing that's gonna be more of a hard counter to Ike. Uh, I feel like that's probably what will uh, put the kibosh on him. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be keep uh, we're gonna be keeping him in the rotation. Um, pretty much just swinging him between seasons, dark and anima astra, uh, light and anima astra. Um, so yeah, we're gonna double tank here. We're gonna use Lumera to tank Hanoka. Uh, let's see if she can do it. And um, we're gonna have Ike tank Camilla. Um, I false started Camilla just... Well, it doesn't actually even matter because there's still another source of sabotage from... Uh, uh, hmm. What's her name? Uh, Bradle Makaya. Uh, who has quickly become one of my favorite units. I'm, I think I made the wrong pick. Well, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was thinking back to when I you picked uh, I Hector over Brattle Micaiah. Um, I, it's only Dragon Flowers. don't think it's that big of a deal. But I was yes. looking back at one of the defense replays the other day, and I saw 220 damage against a Peony after the Glimmer triggered. And I was like, my god, how much damage is damaged um, was that so that you could get to 220? Um, but anyways, let's see what Lumera can do here. Uh, Camilla will die, but I don't know about Lumera here. Ooh, she's getting swept. That's not good. 92 times 2. <laughs> oh, she's dead. More <laughs> time. Oh. Hmm. Mommy needed a nap. <laughs> oh, man. Well, all right. I guess that's our uh, first actual test of Lumera down, and she did not do well. <laughs> uh, Wind Sweep seems to be um, not good for her. Um, she, kept, she keeps getting... I keep forgetting that she doesn't have no counter disrupt um, because Ike has just made me forget that that's a problem, and I... I um, yeah, um, other units don't have that in their weapon, um, unfortunately. Uh, Joel keeps saying that it's going to be some type of drive no counter disrupt, but I don't see that happening, man. It's too good of a skill to be a, to be a drive. Um, but that's it, man. We lost this one. Let's play one more. All right, so we're against Niggle this time, and uh, we're going to use the same team. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's so easy. I just don't want to think. <laughs> I just, I'm just throwing Ike at this. I could probably try to hit and run this, but I don't think I'd get very far because of the range of the calves. I randomly picked up uh, a copy of this Merrick the other day when I was pulling for Nurgle. Uh, so that's great. I mean, I got the Florid, but as a unit, he is uh, underwhelming. I mean, I guess it's a great addition for the Arcanea games. Um, he's a big upgrade. He's basically an upgrade to his infantry version, which is... His, uh, no, his, um, infantry ver version that was on the baby banner, which isn't saying very much because unless you have, like, merges on that one, then it's not really doing the best. Um, I don't know exactly how I would highlight what's wrong with him. Other than he just doesn't do enough damage. Maybe that's, like, a occultist strike diff. Um, yeah, but he just doesn't do enough damage. What can um, do? I'm pretty sure Lamera should be able to hang, handle no, him, and Ike will take out um, Reinhardt, and then we'll leave Sanaki for, I don't know, wherever she ends up, 
and then we'll close it out from there. Uh, should be pretty straightforward um, tanking. Um, not gonna tank Sanaki with Lumera because I know that uh, Lumera dies um, in every sim that I ran. She dies uh, pretty much because uh, uh, it's not. Uh, she doesn't. At least mine doesn't have enough uh, HP to survive the hit. Uh, maybe in bonus season it'll be different, but she just she dies like every time. <laughs> Reinhardt doing his best, but uh, not good enough. This one's mine. I think this Reinhardt has a lot of potential, uh, depending on how, or at least what type of weapons they release in the future. I think he has a uh, a really high threshold uh, because he's so ver versatile in terms of what he can run. Zero times two. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, just not the greatest unit, man. I don't know. I think even if, if that was Claude, Claude would have done some damage there. I'm pretty sure. Wind Tribe Claude. All right, that's perfect from Sanaki. Uh, we should be able to get over there and take her out. I don't know. I don't. Well, I can't do it since he doesn't have a player phase. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, I could just leave him and let him solo, yes. but I kind of just want to get Sanaki off the board, so... Uh, hmm. What do I send over there? Maybe Hater? Maybe Hater can do it? We'll see. I will go. Hmm, Elamine. I keep, like, I no doubt. going to and fro between whether I should drop the Kanto um, or the Trace skill off Elamine. I really like it because it gives her so much more... Um... Movement, uh, but I could drop it for uh, any one of those wrathful or dazzling staff. No oh, hater can't do it. Pretty close, but still, that's real bad. Mm. What can I do? But I guess it is red versus green, <laughs> so I, no I shouldn't be surprised that the weapon triangle works sometimes. Speak. It's uh, actually being pretty fun in um, See Your Snare. Close your eyes. Um, people complain that the game mode See Your Snare isn't available often enough but i i feel like they take take for granted the fact that eye. if it was like every week kind of like summoner duels uh people would get tired of it kind of like with I grand conquest because grand conquest is a oh, really big I'll grind um and that's one of the reasons that they like do it like every four months or so so i don't blame yeah. them for taking their time with letting seer snare uh get released when it does I feel like the timing is really good for it. Um, it, it works really well, and it gives them time to actually build out. Well, I say build out the maps, but they're just using maps from the story. Um, <laughs> well, at least put some thoughts into um, the pathways that they're that they're creating, and um, selecting the unit types and everything. Because um, regardless of what you might think, you I can definitely I tell me. that they put a lot of thought into. Uh, carefully constructing the Seer Sneer game mode because there's so many facets of it that um, are meant to counter the unit types that you would have in that specific title, game title that you're playing with. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really well thought out. Um, so I don't blame them for taking their time with that one. Uh, yeah, this Lumera is not like doing anything that would really just like this. make me want to run her uh, which is unfortunate the only thing she yes. offers is that terrain effect and um, I mean once once I goes bust I don't see that lasting very long in terms What's of me wrong? choosing her as a can I do? support unit option because mm. that's ultimately what she is right now why not You know what I was thinking the other day? I was I thinking no I was doubt. thinking back to when I just started the game. What can I do? And I luckily knew what Fire Emblem was, but I was just like thinking about it like if you start it right now and you don't know anything well, Reveal I don't one. foresee anyone playing this game unless they know something about Fire Emblem. But in the situation where you're just starting the game, there really isn't like much you can do without getting into the Fire Emblem community, which is one of the things that I, I think I remember one of the new players saying from Tacho's podcast thing that without the community in this game, Speak. there's really no way to play it because 
it's really challenging in terms of like some of the components of this game in terms of trying to understand exactly what you're supposed to do and how you're going to get it done um if you don't watch like the, the videos about how you do the things i don't know how you would figure it out <laughs> Defect. <laughs> like, I guess you could probably stumble your way across it, but it would take you a really long time just to put everything together. Because this is a really, really complex game. Uh, for a mobile game, it's really complex. Uh, it's like... A lot of people say that this is chess, but I, I think it's a bit harder than chess. Have faith. I can do this. Alright, so we're gonna get the pot over here. Just a little bit, not too much. Chess is like, like, you know, like, there are levels Fine. for chess. <laughs> but uh, I feel like this is definitely up there. I wonder if Lumera can take out this uh, for Mortis. Well, we're gonna find out. I can do this. So yeah, Seer Sneer has been fun. I've pre basically just been no running the whole waiting. thing with uh, my eyes. Brave Alm. Who I feel like is underrated um, or maybe not I don't know <laughs> but like just decking him out with all the skills he's been really a ton of fun to use uh, she gets it yeah he's been really a ton of fun to use and uh, yeah I'm really just enjoying the uh, the game mode uh, so it's brave arm um, plus ascended Celica and they're just cleaning house and uh, see your sneer it is what it is Lara Shell has been like really fun as well, but GG's. See you in the next one.